three things men should know that will always keep them above and control of the situation with women. First of all, I'm gonna dive right into it. The first one is be nonchalant. You have to be nonchalant. You gotta remember that this woman is not yours. She may not be yours. She look good. She got the look you ever always wanted. She got the physique you always wanted, but she's not yours. She owes you nothing. Remember that she, you you can't be scared to lose her because she was never yours in the first place. You know, so be nonchalant. Speak your mind. Be real. Hold, you know, don't talk too much. You know, you know, try, don't talk too much, but be yourself, but don't talk too much and don't overdo nothing. Keep it simple. Keep your mystery by not showing, only show half of what you feel and only say half of what you mean. You know, you can speak your mind, but keep it short. Don't run it all. Don't act, if you extremely happy, act only half happy. Because you got to keep, that keeps the mystery. They can sense that hold back. The reason I'm telling you that is not to be fake. You know, I'm telling you that so you can, they can feel the hold back. They feel the resistance. If you're just too open and just blah, you can be yourself like that sometime and you know, but it's still going to damper a little bit of their desire and their desire is what gives you gets the best out of them when they try and to figure something out about you. You get the best out of them. They want to they just want to seduce you. They you want to keep that mystery so they can keep them coming. If they figured you out, you know, spilled the beans. Yeah, if you popular, you know, you can do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And some of them will accept it. But it's still nothing like even when you, even T.I. said one time, he said, I'm so down to earth that it kills the star power. It kills the, that star glow, you know, that it's, it, it kills that star vibe. He said, sometimes people forget that I'm T.I., you know, at one time he said that, you know, in the past, he was like, one time, he said, I'm so down to earth that people often think that they forget I'm T.I., you know, their mind, say it's too down to earth where they don't feel that untouchableness. You got to give Women and people in general, but women give them a give them a taste of un of um untouchableness. Like you can't be you just you you royal. You on a different level. They gotta feel that you above them or on a different level. If they feel like they can have you or anybody can have you easily, then they're not gonna bring their all to you. They're gonna be holding back, and that's why a lot of guys don't get a lot of affection and snare, or they might get it one time. The mystery gone. You know what I'm saying? It's because you're giving too much of yourself. You're wearing your heart on your sleeve. It feels good. It's good for your health. But you're wondering why you attract a man having problems with women. You attract a man and women don't want to, you know, they're not, they, don't, they don't seem to be craving over you. It's because your personality is too open. You're talking too much. You're acting like you're scared to lose them. You have to say, I like this girl. You know what I'm saying? If she don't text, I'm going to text her this time. I might give her a call. If she don't call me back, I ain't calling her no more. You know what I'm saying? You got to have set boundaries there. Like, if she don't do this right here, I'm backing out. I'm going to reach out. I'm going to say, hey, how you doing? I might call her. I might text her one more time. Be like, you, uh, hey, if you free this weekend. If she don't respond to you after you call, you send one text. Or if she, if, you know, if you're really safe, if you really gorgeous, say may send one more text. That's it. Once you did that, back off. You know what I'm saying? Back off. You know what I'm saying? Let it go. You have to learn how to let it go because it's never was yours. She was never yours. She just looked good. She just got the body. You don't know her personality. You may be better than her as a person. She may look good than most of the girls in the world, but as a person, she might be demon possessed might be heartless, you know, she might be selfish, she might be manipulative, she might, you know what I'm saying? So you never know just because she look good, she could be demon possessed. She could be a candy coated turd. So you just gotta watch that, you know, be nonchalant, nonchalant. The second thing is, um, remember that no don't mean never.
as many women that told me no this year, next, the, next, the following year they was over my house eating popcorn sitting on my lap. You see what I'm saying? So, no don't mean never. Don't get offended and mad and call, hey, you remember? Don't do it. Because the following year, I can save your marriage in the next four weeks and get your wife appreciating and loving you again daily. The following year, the following year, she might um say, "You look familiar." It's all it's all about timing, catching them at the right time. It's all about timing. You never know where a woman at her headspace at at that time. You can catch her at a time when she confident and arrogant. You can catch her at a time when she trying to get back at dudes. You can catch you can catch her at a time when she think. Her, she think her, the cure is to, to sleep with a lot of men. Their minds be all over the place and you just never know where they're getting the information from. Or, you know, if they ain't got the right people in their life, you know what I'm saying? They're dealing with the wrong people or the, the wrong information. If their mind weak, you know what I'm saying? They liable to do anything. So, no don't mean never. Don't don't bomb her out just because she, she stirs you up. You never want to just let it go, cut her off and go on. You never know what what's gonna happen you don't want to go at her next time you see her but she might come to you a year from now might see you somewhere hey what's up you know what i'm saying you can give it a cold shoulder if you like um or you can just be because their minds all over the place you can't take them seriously you can't take them seriously they smart they know what they're doing but they emotion their mind is all over the place so if you want to deal with it the second time that's on you but you ain't got to take it serious but if you just want a little company one day that's on you. I'm just saying no don't mean never. And she could be a good girl, but just in a wrong state of mind in the following year, she ain't been ran through or nothing. She just was going through something. It could be her father passed or something like that. And she just was going through something emotionally. Then a year later, she better and she see you and she talk to you. We never know what people are going through, you know? So no don't mean never. So it's good that if you could be a, if you could, I'm, I don't recommend the friend zone, but if she look good enough, ain't nothing wrong with the friend zone. She's a good person because she may, may be taking a break. Maybe in a 10-year, 5-year relationship. And you friend, you're the most convenient dude. It might, that, <laughs> hey, that time and the, the moon might align up right that one day and she might look at you a little different. Last but not least, do not argue. Arguing turns women off. And I'm a man, all y'all men out there that speak your mind, who ain't scared to speak your mind, yeah, you, you know what I'm saying, you know you right. They don't care if you right or not. Women don't deal with facts. They deal with feelings. You have to show by action. Change the narrative. When they argue and switch the subject, use keywords to switch the subject. Don't switch the subject, obviously. They're going to make it look like you're trying to avoid the question. And when you answer the question, still answer it vague um, or say you don't know. That's the best way to do it. Say you don't know or answer vague. So I got to get back with you with that. I don't really know about that because she's trying to start an argument. Even if you, most of them, even if you're right, even if you make all the sense in the world, they won't say, I'm sorry. They won't say you're right. They won't say they're wrong. Just say, I don't know, I get back with you. Say it might be that, you know, just I don't know. Why you did it? Why you why you eat you like I don't know why I do that. I gotta figure out why I do this. Just keep on playing. Even if she try to offend you or attack your manhood. I I know you ain't gotta deal with all that. I'm just saying some women like that early when you meet them, and some of them like that later. Some of them like that, they'll never act like that, and then when you marry them, they change like you never know that most of them got it in them. Most of them have it in them. So you gotta, when it come out, you gotta remember how to deflect that joke. Control the narrative by keywords. Control the narrative. Um, so don't argue, man. Just, if you gotta walk out, you say, look at me. Hey, look at this, we are. Let me call you back. Let me, I'm gonna call you back. All right, sweetheart, I gotta get, just make something else. Somebody giving me a call, important call. Let me, let me call you back, all right? You know, just something. Always keep, stay smooth, keep your composure. It's gonna turn them on so much they're gonna feel like they ain't got power over you it's just gonna make them feel smaller 
and make you feel so bigger because you didn't feed into the traps. This man is a real man. What can I do to weaken him? And the first thing they are gonna do is you know what? You know what they gonna come with if you if if you don't if you ignore today if you ignore the um keeping up with the demands of multiple sales they arguing if you ignore that it's so masculine to ignore the arguing and just do what you gonna do Say, she, you might not have to wife them up you just want to deal with her the way you want to deal with her. If she want to argue, let them, most of them are like that. Most women have to be tame no more. They got to be tame. Because they're not going to just treat you good and give you credit just because you're a good man. They're not going to give you credit just because you're a good man. You have, they, got to see, they got to see that they don't affect you. And if they feel like they don't affect you, they know it's going to give off everything... A they, you're gonna give off royalty. You're gonna give off a royalty vibe. You're gonna give off a vibe that they can, um, that you can have other women. Um, it's just so many things. You're just gonna seem powerful, man, when you don't argue. Just say, look, in your mind, say, this girl argue, she getting on my nerves. I can't wipe this girl up, but I ain't gonna get mad. I'm just not gonna wipe her up. I'm just gonna deal with her today. I might hang out with her today. I might hang out with her another time. Or I might hang with her every now and then and just when I'm bored, you know. And she ain't going to do that all the time because it's not bothering you. Only time people going to keep doing something is when they see they're getting a reaction out of you. <laughs> people observing your reaction of their behavior. You see what I'm saying? They observing your reaction of your behavior and watching and seeing how they words and their actions affect you. Even their disrespect. See, he's so big that my disrespect don't even bother him. Wow. Let me tell him I'm sorry because, you know, you just never know. Patience is a virtue, something I never had. This is stuff I'm just learning. Some of you guys may already know, but this is stuff I'm just learning. I'm trying to save you all of the years that headache and trauma and missing out on girls and not knowing how to control the narrative not knowing how to reconstruct the whole situation you are the architect you are the architect you have power to control situations beyond your wildest dreams at your job with women with everything Life and death is in the tongue. That's what the Bible says. Read the Bible. I love you. Stay prayed up in Jesus' name. Follow me on the Instagram link in the description box. Don't forget to press subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified for the next video. I'd like to give, all, give a shout out to all the people that's been donating to the page. Also, um, subscribe to my other pages, my comedy page, and my alternative page. Much love to you. Stay prayed up. Everything is in the description box. If you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, message me on Instagram. The Instagram link is in the description box. Let me know how much time you want. I'm out. Jesus' name, Reunion Nation, must love.